Welcome. In this little screencast, I'm showing you Tax Studio, my favorite editor for writing and editing LaTeX documents. As you can see, I already loaded the best practices version of Assignment 0. So you see you get nice syntax highlighting and so on. One nice feature is you can select a couple of lines and go to comment. Then they all get the percent sign prepended and you can redo that with uncomment. If you want to compile the document, there's the, uh, the, um, the menu tools. If you click on compile, it will run PDF LaTeX and it will even run LaTeX several times if it thinks that the document is not yet finished. But in this simple case, one run of LaTeX seems to, seems to suffice. If you click view, then the internal PDF editor opens. If you don't like this, you can always click here and get the external PDF viewer of your, uh, of your operating system. But the built-in viewer has a few very nice features. For example, you can click anywhere in the PDF and say go to source. Then you jump directly to the point in the tag file where this text appears. So you can change the text at this, at this position Add a new word. If you then click on build and view, I will show you the change, the change in the PDF file right away. The synchronization also works in the other direction. You can click anywhere in the source file and say go to PDF. And then again, you get highlighted where this is located in the PDF file. Let's do some more editing where one of the things in LaTeX is that it's hard to remember when you start all these commands. Let's, for example, emphasize this the word this here. Then you can click in the LaTeX menu, go to uh, font styles and say, I want to surround this with, with M for emphasis. And if you then compile the document and jump to the source, and you see that now it says this in italic font. Let's do some math. If you start typing a formula, and it might, might happen that you forget how these uh, many math symbols are typed. Luckily here, you have a whole bunch of symbols that you can just click on, and then it inserts the LaTeX code for this symbol. And there's a few more and many, many, many more. For example, this, these ones are decorations for certain letters, so you can put something in between. Now, at some point, you would probably like to see what this formula actually looks like, because if you can't remember these uh, long macros, you probably also don't know how they look like. In that case, you can just select any portion of the text, and you can go to Uh, preview selection and then you actually get a nice rendering of precisely this part in the text apart from the fact that I selected the wrong arrow here and you see it's it's updated almost live so here's our text here's our math formula and if we type some more math you see how it eventually pops up right as I type it and that these two features in connection are extremely helpful for typing formulas, whether or not you're already familiar with the commands. You can clear inline preview to turn this feature off. Another nice thing is that many packages that you use in LaTeX have a very good documentation. For example, math tools, with, which fixes a few things of AMS math. If you right click on this package, then you actually get a link to the documentation where you now can see this is the math tools package and this is what it does and you can read the 36 pages of documentation. And this works for most of the packages without any configuration. One final feature that is often helpful is um, the handling of labels. 
So as you can see here in the text, this compiles to problem one, problem seven, because the counter here for sections has been redefined. But if you mistype this label and compile it again, LaTeX will complain because it doesn't know this label. And you see that Tax Studio actually underlined this label and says, uh, I don't know where this is. But if you do type the label correctly, you can go to its definition and see, oh, that's where it came from. You can even find usages of a given uh, label. Sometimes you have to click again here. And then it shows you all the occurrences of this label, which actually works with all kinds of strings. You have, if you search for any word, you can always click on the plus and get a, a list of all occurrences that can even spread across different file name, different files. And if you now at some point start typing ref and, ty and do control space, then you're given a list of all labels that you defined in this document. So Tech Studio tries to be smart here. Actually, control space also works to complete commands. For example, if you start typing text backslash and type control space, then it actually completes that command fully. There's many more features in Tech Studio, like for example, this outline where you can click on section headings and many more helpful features that I won't mention today. But these are a few of the distinctive features that you don't get in other LaTeX editors.